各位来宾，台湾民进党代表，蔡英文。我是要出来要介绍行路的方式。啊，大家要通知哦，要行路时阵，请你将你的正手搭在你左边的胸胸口，向向向前。啊，那查某的通知，请你先先注目你。男同志，请你将你的正手贴在你的左边的胸口。那、啊、女同志是，请你前注目你。这是六十多年以来。美国军事进步，含美国进步，头一摆，伫咱台湾占领的这个地区升级，咱这个升级受到美国国防部、美国国家安全会议代表的授权，所以咱现在有今日得到这个荣幸，所以咱即摆要开始来举行升级的典礼，先美国国旗，美国。军政府，美国占领期，祝你作业。
่าApproximately 66 years after the Japanese surrender ceremonies in Taiwan on October 25th, 1945. At that time, apparently to many people in the world community, it was not exactly clear the legal significance of the Japanese surrender ceremonies and indeed in later directives memoranda and other legal papers issued by the United States Executive Branch, the significance of these surrender ceremonies was not entirely recognized. In fact, it should be 100% clear that based on the Hague Regulations in 1907, Territory is considered occupied when it's actually placed under the authority of the hostile army. October 25th, 1945, therefore marks the beginning of the military occupation of Taiwan and the Festivores. This is despite the fact that at that time there are many other declarations and proclamations floating around and very much in everyone's consciousness such as the Cairo Declaration, the Potsdam Proclamation, and certain statements made in the Japanese surrender documents of September 2nd, 1945. In dealing with occupied territory, there are three central questions which must be dealt with. Number one, when did the occupation begin? Number two, who is the occupying power? Number three, when did the occupation end? It's perhaps only been in the last decade or so that many of the departments of the U.S. Executive Branch have come to realize the significance of October 25th, 1945 as the beginning of the military occupation of Taiwan. At the same time, more and more researchers and scholars involved with the Taiwan issue have also begun to recognize that this is the beginning of the military occupation of Taiwan. 
nevertheless, these people are not familiar enough with the customary laws of warfare of the post-Napoleonic period to be able to delve into a discussion of the other two questions. Therefore, they immediately make the incorrect assumption that somehow the Republic of China is the occupying power in Taiwan, and perhaps through various democratic changes over the past 20 or more years, perhaps Taiwan has already left, has already terminated a situation of military occupation. These two types of considerations are incorrect. During the World War II period, all military attacks against targets in Formosa and the Pescadores were made by the United States military forces. The United States suffered the loss of many men, military vessels on the high seas and also aircraft in culminating the result that the Japanese flag in Taiwan was lowered. Therefore, under the customary laws of warfare, it is the United States of America which will be the occupying power one. As we see the military efforts handled by the Republic of China military forces, thus resulting in a principal subordinate relationship. This relationship is fully recognized by the San Francisco Peace Treaty of 1952. Article 23A specifies the United States of America as the principal occupying power. At the same time, we know that military government is the form of administration by which an occupying power exercises governmental authority over occupied territory, and Article 4B of the San Francisco Peace Treaty gives the United States military government jurisdiction over Taiwan in a similar fashion that it was given jurisdiction over the Ruku Island. At the same time, we see that Article 2B announced that Japan renounces all right, title, and claim to Formosa and the Pescadores, thus resulting in a situation where Japan gave up the authority over these islands, but no receiving country was specified. As a result, Taiwan remains in the jurisdiction of the United States military government as an interim status condition. There has been nothing happened in 1952 when the San Francisco Peace Treaty came into force up to the present day, which has changed the situation. The United States remains as the principal occupying power of Taiwan territory up to the present day. Therefore, although incredibly 66 years late, we are raising the United States flag over Taiwan territory and this point, I must offer my humble apologies to the Taiwan people. For our lateness in taking this action, no, we will assume that in the future these matters will proceed more smoothly. Therefore, we're making arrangements for Taiwan to be separated into six states and to begin the issuance of the United States authorized ID cards. So, today, I want to offer my thanks to all the members of the cabinets of the six states, as well, well as our central government cabinet, all of our officers and members of the Taiwan Civil Government Senate and the Senates of the six states, as well as all our supporters and other representatives who have been joining us here today to celebrate this historic occasion. So, I hope that in the future we can spread our influence to all corners of Taiwan and in some way make sure that the Taiwanese people can realize the guarantees under the U.S. Constitution which are rightfully theirs as an overseas territory of the United States under military government and at the most basic level, of course, those are the guarantees of the Fifth Amendment, life, liberty, property, and the process of law.
So with these brief remarks, I will conclude my statement here this morning, July 24, 2011, in at our Council of Government Central Office Program. Thank you very much. Tao 南北加稍微比國公因为这款的听心 it's a very great day. Five days here. Sixty-six years ago, the Taiwan to today is a very important step. We came here with a dream. We came here with a hope. We hope Taiwan will be a real Taiwan. So we will have more work to do. And we believe the United States will be follow with the Indonesian law, follow the law of war, follow the San Francisco Peace Treaty. We can do it. We can get it. God bless Taiwan. God bless USA. God bless people of Taiwan. Thank you. Then Hoshashi, 啊,以後上課以後的這個是外課,我不得說過去台灣的路沒講過,台灣最後一個總督的代誌,因為這個總督會當讓台灣的地位啊,啊,那改變我跟你保證,我會把這個課啊,這個課啊,這個課啊,這